So as I'm sitting here, I was contemplating on whether I should bring this up or not. It's uh, something, you know, somewhat personal happening in my life, but uh, it is going to impact my life. It's going to change my life. Um, so I figured, you know, I will just share it um, as I'm sitting here wiping blood off my forehead. Um, <sighs> just my season has been <laughs> unbelievable. And I'm, I guess technically it's even over for me this year um, because of the events that are coming up this week. But, um, you know, it started off in Kentucky. I drew back on a really big buck early September. And it was just quarter to me. It was 11 yards, just quarter to me. I was just waiting for him to turn. I, you know, thought I was trying to do the right thing. And then he just kind of like, wheeled around and went after another buck that was coming in and never got a shot at him. Then, you know, fast forward to November after getting my butt kicked all of October, um, you know, I drew back on a buck right here. I mean, right freaking there, 18 yards. And he just stopped dead in his tracks right before he got to the shooting lane. And he just knew something was up and he turned around and got out of there. So I have just been struggling to kill a deer. And I think I just missed one at 30 yards because obviously I wasn't holding on to the gun very well. And man, is that <laughs> that's the first time I have ever done that. You know, back up two months ago, I was cutting shooting lanes with a friend of mine. And uh, long story short, we were just finishing and I reached up to pull this one branch I had cut down and I don't know what happened, but a tree branch um, just out of nowhere came and smacked me. I mean, punched me straight in the eye that sent me right to my knees. And for like an hour, I couldn't open my eye. Uh, the pain was uh, so intense that eventually I gave in and went to the ER. And they ended up doing a CAT scan that night and the ER doctor came back and said, look, everything that we have searched for looks fine. However, there's something in your throat that you're going to want to follow up on. Probably nothing, but you would definitely want to get it checked out. So, so I was referred to an ENT doctor, blah, 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 down, you know, just one thing after another, biopsy, ultrasound, it turns out it's cancer. Um, I have cancer on my thyroid um, and it needs to be removed which is happening tomorrow um, it's one of the good cancers to have I guess if, if there's a such thing as that I um, you know they, they remove my thyroid I'm gonna be fine um, you know they, they say it's no big deal I'm having a hard time looking at it that way although I'm well aware that it could be a lot worse. Um, so I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that uh, it was revealed in the way it was. Um, it took a good punch in the face to uh, to find it, but we found it early and it would take care of it. But so that that's going to cut my hunting season short this year. But I, I, I think I think I just missed this though. I mean, 30 yards. I I, I don't know. I mean. I gotta go down and look, but it was snorting out there after I shot, so it's just really a slap in the face for my for my season. It's just been unbelievable. I've never questioned my abilities as a hunter so much in my life as this year, and now I probably have a scar to uh, remind me of that. <laughs> so my surgery's tomorrow. I, I don't really know what to expect. I'm probably more nervous about it than I should be. But uh, I really don't want to go through with it. Uh, like I said, I know it could be a lot worse. But the other half of me is like, well, it could be a lot better too. But um, I just, I, I'm thankful that we discovered it early. It, you know, it hasn't spread. And, uh, you know, it should be fine. So... Uh, it's just it's just getting through the surgery um, So this might be it for me for a while as far as videos go 
unfortunately I don't have anything to even show from this season because it's just been it's been tough I couldn't even get my kid a deer this year it's um, I don't know so now I'm, I, I have never been so ready for turkey season this early <laughs> I'm just uh, I could put a hurting on the turkeys but deer just put a hurting on me and I I just man it has been it has been quite a season and uh, I'm gonna get down and go look to see if I hit this deer or not um, I did just notice there's a, a shed laying right next to my stand so um, I did look long and hard to make sure that was a good sized doe and not a button buck but I'm hoping that wasn't a shed buck um, but I probably missed it anyways but well I just got down because I gotta see if I hit this deer or not but uh this is crazy it was 10 yards from my stand Pretty good shed too. Short tines. So that deer should have been standing right here. It stands right there. Oh, I didn't miss. <laughs> I did not miss. Holy cow. It is not too hard following this blood trail. Holy smokes. I would think I'd be able to see it from here. Wow. I didn't miss. <laughs> Holy cow. Big old swamp donkey. Oh man, I'm gonna have a freaking project getting this out of here. Gosh dang. All right, well, work begins.